everybody, it's Carissa from The Sewing Shop and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to re-hoop your item in order to get the illusion of a larger embroidery field. So here we go. For this video's project, I have a shower curtain that they're wanting their monogram in the middle of. So as you can see, we have our blue markings to indicate the center of the hoop or the center of the shower curtain where we're wanting the design. And you can see that we already have our first large embroidery complete. If you look here, we have little indication lines that's going to help us line up our little accents that we're going to put on the outside. So all I'm going to do is unhoop this and then rehoop it over to the side. But I'm going to um, show you that guys that process now. So I'm going to pop it out of this hoop and set that top piece to the side. And I already have my stabilizer art underneath my shower curtain. So I'm going to slide the bottom part of my hoop over and I'm going to use that same marking to line up the center of my outside accents. So I also want to make sure that I incorporate this line for the design that I am doing. If you are not wanting it to be that close, then you obviously would scoot yours out a little bit more. But mine, that is my little indicator. So I can just kind of move oh, the bottom of my okay. hoop a little bit, scooch it in here and make sure that my blue line is in the center of my hoop. And then I put pressure on my hoop in order to get it fully hooped. And of course we don't want any ripple effect. So we're gonna pull the fabric and the stabilizer and make sure that it is all taut. Okay, so here's it a little bit closer, incorporating our stitched line and our drawn line in order to keep it center. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and put it on the machine. Okay guys, so I am doing my embroidery on the Luminaire 2, which already has a pretty large embroidery field, um, but I want it to give the illusion that it's even larger. So I've set my design here, as you can tell. Um, I have already pressed my camera button, which is built into the Luminaire and taken a picture of what's in the hoop and it's pulled it up on the screen here. Um, so I don't know if you can tell, let me zoom in on it for you. Um, you can see the line that is from the picture and of course the line that's incorporated into my design. So you can see those on screen. So then I will just use my arrows under my move feature in order to move my design. Or I can press my projector here and it is actually going, it's actually going to um, shine down an image within my hoop here. Um, and I will zoom in and let you see that. And it doesn't have that rainbow effect in real life just because we're on a camera, um, but it's shining down the illusion of my design to where I can make sure that it is centered where I want it. So I'm gonna drag my um, design box over to the side to where I know it's gonna overlap. And then I'm gonna use my built-in move feature in order to move my design across the screen and get those lines to line up. And of course, if I needed to, I can use the rotate feature in order to get it more precise. Okay, I'm gonna keep going just a little bit more. Okay, and you can look on my screen and see that the lines line up and you can look on my projection and see that they line up and I can drag that box on my screen to the top to check the top point or my bottom point and make sure everything is lined up. Once it's lined up, you're just gonna start your embroidery and then we'll check back. That's it, you guys. You just rehoop as many times as you need in order to get the size you're wanting. If you have any questions, you can call us at 318 869 1739. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.